Good evening. This is Luke Thomas Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 9.08 in the evening on Friday, April 9th, 2021. And uh, we currently we have a uh, warning for Southern California, Central and Southern California. And we will get to that right now. All right. And here it is. Um, a 6.0 earthquake is likely in uh, Southern or Central California uh, during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours, most likely on April 10th into the April 11th. And uh, yesterday we saw this red area around uh, Central to Southern California. And the new information is showing an even higher risk right here which is along the Garlock Fault from uh, Ridgecrest down to northwest of LA, uh, Fraser Park, uh, Ridgecrest along the uh, Garlock Fault. So that's where the uh, quake is most likely to hit. However, the very high risk extends from southeastern San Francisco Bay all the way down to like Palm Springs. So uh, 6.0 earthquake is likely during the next 24 to 48 hours, most likely along the Garlock Fault from Ridgecrest to Northwest of LA. All right, and then on April 12th, the risk begins to diminish, still very high risk across uh, California. So we're looking at a significant earthquake during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. Please uh, be prepared for that. And now let's go check out uh, some of the other forecasts around the world. Uh, here's Alaska forecast now, and you can see on the uh, 10th, into the 11th, we have a risk down here, Sand Point and southwest of Kodiak Island. Very high risk down in that area. Over in Chile, the risk is in the far north right now. <clears throat> and the same thing on the 9th and the 10th, which is right now as well, the, uh, we could get a 5.0 to 5.5 in northern Chile or southern Peru. And then on the 10th and the 11th, south of Santiago, Chile, this area right here could get a uh, significant earthquake south of Santiago on the 10th and the 11th. And the 11th to the 12th, the risk remains in that same area, just to southwest of Santiago, Chile. And you can see these maps over quickprediction.com. We have a new legend on the side here and uh, dark blue is 20%. <clears throat> this uh, lime green is 50%. Yellow is 75%. Red is 95 and uh, kind of a, a burgundy red, dark red is uh, 98. <clears throat> All right, let's go to Italy's forecast. And right now the risk is in Southern Italy, 85% there. And the 9th and the 10th in Northwest Italy and 10th and 11th, still in Northern Italy, also down near Tunisia and uh, Algeria. And a little bit higher risk here in uh, Croatia to Bosnia, to East Central Italy on the 11th and 12th. Japan is uh, uh, in a very interesting situation right now. They could get a 5.5 to 6.5 in this area uh, just east of Tokyo. Uh, and east of Fukushima, uh, Ibaraki area there on the 10th into the 11th. And right now it is the 10th over there. So they're very close to getting something in that area. And then the risk begins to diminish after that. And the Philippines, risk continues in the far north on the 9th, 9th and the 10th, still in the far north. 10th to the 11th in the far north diminishing and then 11th and 12th far north as well again. Still uh, not really, really high risk, but 50, 55, 60% risk in the north uh, during that time. Over in Greece, the risk right now is uh, at about 60 to 65% from west central to northeast Greece. And uh, then the risk on the 10th to the 11th is down here in Southwest Greece, 11th and 12th up near Albania. 
and the Hawaii forecast. Um, right now, a very significant risk over in Hawaii, where they could get a 5.0 earthquake during the next uh, 24 hours. And the risk diminishes from the 10th into the 11th, still possible then. And the 11th and 12th, much quieter. Central America. All right, we have uh, right now the 9th into the 10th. The risk is over Guatemala and Western Honduras. The 10th into the 11th, it gets pretty high risk there. You get a 5.5 in that area in Guatemala, the 10th into the 11th of April, and the risk diminishes on the 12th. All right, here's an interesting forecast right here in Taiwan. Uh, you can see there was very high risk here. We were talking about this in the last video, north of uh, Taiwan in the Ryukyu Islands area. And let's go check over there. We got a couple of significant earthquakes, a 5.3 and a 4.4, 5.3 and a 4.4 uh, in the Ryukyu Islands, right about in here, 80, 85% risk area. And then on the 9th into the 10th, which is right about now, we could get a 5.5 earthquake right over uh, Taipei, Taiwan in the northern part of Taiwan. So be on alert for that during the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. And here's the 10th to the 11th, it begins to diminish. So during the next 24 hours or so, we could get a 5.5 earthquake in Taiwan. In Washington, Oregon and Idaho, Right now, there's a risk of a 4.5 or so in Oregon, right here in central and eastern Oregon. That includes western uh, Idaho. And the risk begins to fall off after that. And uh, high risk uh, during uh, the 10th into the 11th in central Idaho. And quieter after that. All right, in Turkey, the risk is beginning to build in central Turkey right now. Uh, in the 9th and the 10th, you can see here it's uh, north central. And here's where they could get a 5.5 in central Chile, right about there on the 10th and the 11th. So watch for that. And then the risk diminishes after that. So during the next 48 hours, watch central Turkey. All right, in the Caribbean forecast, Risk right now is over in Haiti and Dominican Republic. Some call it uh, Haiti, Haiti and Dominican Republic or Haiti. Uh, the risk is very high in that area. Also on the 9th and the 10th and the 10th and 11th, uh, kind of moderately high there and then quiets down after that. Quickprediction.com, you can get all these maps. A couple more, more maps to look at, New Zealand. Uh, that was from yesterday there. Risk is building into the northern part of uh, New Zealand. Right here is uh, central, west central on the 9th and the 10th. And northwest New Zealand on the 10th and the 11th. And even higher risk there on the 11th and the 12th. So that's the area to watch is northern New Zealand up to northwest New Zealand during the next 48 hours. Peru and Ecuador, last map to look at. The uh, still risk down here near southern Peru. And then on the 9th into the 10th, the risk moves to northwest Peru. The 10th to the 11th, still northwest Peru. 11th to the 12th, northwest Peru and southwest Ecuador. Once more, let's look at the Los Angeles forecast. We could get a 6.0 earthquake during the next uh, 24 to 48 hours in central to southern California most likely right in this spot right here, this dark red uh, along the Garlock Fault between Ridgecrest and Northwest LA. Please stay safe and be prepared. Let your friends know about that. Um, I think, let me just check one more thing here. Let's go over here to California. Yeah, we just got a 3.0 earthquake just now, right there in Yucca Valley, uh, just a few minutes ago, Yucca Valley, um, north of Palm Springs and east of Los Angeles right there. 
So this quake that we're talking about should hit along the Garlock Fault, most likely to hit there anyways, between Ridgecrest, south of Bakersfield, to Fraser Park, northwest of LA, somewhere in that area. It could hit anywhere in central or southern California. All right, thank you very much for stopping by and visiting uh, quakeprediction.com Earthquake Forecast Center videos. Uh, we'll be back again uh, tomorrow night, Saturday night. And by then we should probably most likely have this uh, earthquake in central or southern California. So stay alert, stay safe. God bless you and we'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, see you later.